Hello everybody, I'm MCG and this is the first part of a new series that I'm going to be running all throughout February which I title Funko Pop February where I showcase all my Funko Pops. Before we go on to the first part of my Funko Pops collection tour, I have a few things to say. I got my first pops around 2015-2016 which you'll see in the first and second part and I didn't start collecting, like fully collecting pops until 2017. I am mainly an out of box collector which means I keep the pops out of the boxes just because I like them for display purposes as well as I have limited space in my house to keep all the boxes. I only got some of my favourites um, up in storage and you'll see some will still be in their boxes um, either I haven't unboxed them yet or they're exclusives. I mainly collect pots to do with animation because that's one of my biggest passions and I love animation so much. Uh, that includes Disney, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, uh, that's where some of my biggest collections lie. I also like collecting Marvel Pops as well. There are a few places and websites that I go on to go to find Funko Pops. Uh, one of the biggest ones is The Entertainer in the UK. That is a UK based toy store where you can find all sorts of Funko Pops as well as other toys. I used to work in The Entertainer at Christmas so that's where I got most of my pops from. I also go to Amazon, EMP. There was only one time that I went to the Hot Topic website to buy uh, a couple of Funko Pops that I love dearly but I'm never going to do that again because of the shipping story I'll tell you that in the later part um, I also went to Hot Topic in the US to buy some Funko Pops because they had a special deal going on and yeah, also went to MCM. MCM Comic Con is a great place to find Funko Pops as well. That's about it for the introduction. I also apologise for any light issues that you might see during these parts. Uh, I don't have the best lighting conditions in my house, but I really wanted to show my Funko Pop collection and how it's grown over the years. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the first part. To start off, I'm going to show you the first ever Pops that I've ever got. This is the Materializing TARDIS that is exclusive to Underground Toys as well as a little Pocket 12. Um, I got this at the only Dot 2 festival that was ever held <laughs> at all. And yeah, this is why this is a very special Pop to me. It's because it's when my love for Dot 2 was really, really growing around this area. And 12 is one of my favourite Doctors of all time. Probably my favourite over David Tennant. I'm so sorry, David Tennant. But yeah, this is the Materialized TARDIS, exclusive to Underground Games, as well as a little Pocket 12 to go with it. Next up down here, we got Happy from Fairy Tale. He is so adorable. I think I got this pop around 2017 when my collection started really growing. And he is so adorable with his little scarf and his fish and his wings. He's just a cute little pop all around. Next up, we got Little Orphan Orange and a dog, Melancholy. This is one of the only pops that I got down in America when I went on holiday. And she is so adorable. I just love her simplistic nature. And yeah, she's one of my favourite Oller Pops. I've never tried an Oller Pop, but I know about the mascots. And she is my favourite, especially the little dog, Melancholy. Oh, they're so cute. Next up, we got Eleven in a snowball attire. She is adorable, but I know she's missing Mike. I really want to get Mike with her eventually because they all just match so well together. But yeah, here is Eleven. I got her in Primark and she was especially cheap. So I wanted to get at least one Stranger Things pop. And this one really stood out for me. Next up, we got RJ and Chimmy from BT21. And they are so cute. These two are my favourites out of the BT21. Uh, mascot range and I do like BTS's music and I know it's based off um, BTS and it's they're just so cute they are adorable um, I just saw these in the entertainer one day and I was like you know what I'm gonna get them and I didn't know um, I got this one first without knowing who BT21 is but I kind of assumed it was something to do with BTS and I was right so yeah um, the, this is Jimmy and RJ up here we got a lone lockjaw. He is just so adorable. This is the only Marvel Comics related figure that I got. And he's just so cute with his tongue sticking out. I love him. I absolutely adore him. And he's also a bobblehead. All Marvel and I think Star Wars as well have bobbleheads. He is so cute though. And then down here we got a lone Lucy from the Peanuts comics. And yeah, I think she was cheap when I got her. I got her from HMV and they were doing this offer. Uh, I think it was buy one get one free and this one was the cheapest one so I got her for free. And yeah, I really want to get the others in the Peanuts line, especially Snoopy and Woodstock and probably Charlie Brown as well, but right now I got Lucy. Sticking with the comics theme, we got Garfield and we got Odie over here. 
they are just so sweet and I had to get both of them because you know Garfield and Odie a, a duo a classic duo yeah this is from Garfield's comic strips and you can see the Garfield TV show as well but yeah they are especially cute I really do want to get the Garfield one with the mug from the Funko shop because that one looks good as well and it also has I hate Mondays on it which <laughs> relatable in this day and age but yeah there is Garfield and Odie down here we got the only Fraggle Rock Funko Pop I got. This is Gobo with Dozer and it's especially cute. I love it. I got this from the Entertainer as well. I got this for £5. It is really cute. I used to adore Fraggle Rock when I was little and it just brings back the nostalgia when I see Funko Pops of like the shows I used to watch. So yeah, here's Gobo with a dozer. Now we're going to go all the way up here to the tick. Um, my mum got this for me um, in the entertainer and it's just really cute. Um, I did see the Amazon TV series of the tick and I thought it was very good and I saw the original classic animated series and it was good. So I'm glad to have this pop in my collection, especially uh, since how much I love the tick. Next up we got Shrifty Rick and he is a Hot Topic exclusive. I got this down at Hot Topic um, when I went on holiday, just like I did for Little Orphan Orange and I love it. I need to get Shrifty Morty though, I, I'm probably going to get him from EMP because I'm not doing shipping from Hot Topic ever again. Um, you'll find out that story in a later part about the the terrifying shipping <laughs> hot topic to get three of my favorite pots down here but yeah that this is shifty rick this is a very good pop and i need to get shifty morty as soon as possible now we're gonna go down here to the care bears and i got tender heart and i got cheer and they are so cute i've got these both at the entertainer and i love them so much we're gonna go up now to see luna from elena of avalor this is the only elena of avalor pop i got my sister has got Skylar and I just thought it would be nice to like have matching sort of pops. Um, the reason why I got this one though is because her name is Luna and that's one of my favourite names and also it's, it's a part of my surname. <laughs> Luna is part of my surname, just add the N and then you got my full surname. So I also like Luna as well in the show, she's, she's alright. <laughs> so yeah, there's Luna. We're going to go down here to my MLP pops. Uh, these are two of the three MLP pops I got. One is very, very special to me, but that's going to be in a later video. Um, we got Tempest, who is a Hot Topic exclusive. And we also got Fluttershy as a sea pony. And yeah, I find them adorable. My sister has the Fluttershy sea pony as well. That's the only duplicates we have. But yeah, uh, these are the MLP ones that I have. Next up is the only Fantastic Beast pop I'll ever get. This is Percival Gravis. I'm not really too fond of this pop at all, but my mum got it for me as I started collecting Funko Pops and I decided to keep him because he still looks alright. I'm just not I'm just not a big fan of Fantastic Beast. I do like the movie. Crimes of Griddle World is eh, but yeah, I decided to keep him regardless. Next up we've got the only Star Wars pops I'm gonna get. Uh, this is a Porg, a very sad Porg, he looks so sad. Oh, so that's the Porg. Uh, we got Rose, Rose was snubbed, Rose was snubbed, everyone, I just, ugh, Rose was snubbed. Um, she wasn't an interesting character, but, but she was snubbed. And um, my auntie got me this one, it's, it's alright. Um, I got an exclusive version of Rose, which I'll show in another video. And this is Lando from the Solo movie, looking pretty dapper with his gun. And his big stand that every Star Wars figure has to have now. Um, this one has a disposable one. I don't know where the disposable stand from Rose um, went. But I, I got it somewhere. But I don't know where it is. But yeah, here is my Star Wars pops. And the last pop I want to show you on this shelf is a Voltron pop um, from the DreamWorks Legendary Defender series. And I love this pop. I got this on the last day I worked in the Entertainer for Christmas. And yeah, I love it. It's great. It has a sentimental value to me. Even though the show is... Yeah, I have a sort of sour taste towards the show now. I still love and adore this pop. And yeah, it's just, it's just a good pop. And here is all the Funko Pops that I showed today on the shelf. This is the shelf that they all go on. Um, I reorganised it from the intro that you saw earlier and I just have to keep reorganising it because it does look a bit more cluttered than it did before. 
but it's different I've got like five fungal warps on this box now whilst earlier I think that was on there and we had a few like Shifty Rick was on there and everything but yeah this is how I'm organizing them now and it'll just it'll just keep growing and growing I suppose but yeah here is all the Funko Pops on this shelf and that is it for this part of my Funko Pop collection tour I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time where we focus on my Marvel and Disney Pops